November New Week. Hello folk and welcome on the number 17 about Movember and New Tweak. Today we are talking about chromatic aberration. There is a lot of gizmo to produce a very nice chromatic aberration, but I will just show you two methods today uh, to do something fast. So you will just start with a picture and I will select the transform mask node and I will create two transform mask nodes. The first one will be on the red channel only. And the second one, I don't duplicate because I want just to uh, to show you the naming of the channel. Sometimes there is a bug when I duplicate the first one because I stay at all. So uh, the first one controls the red, the second one will control the blue. So uh, for example, I want that the red channel control the blue channel. To do this, I will just add an expression. I will just click on control on my keyboard and I will drag and drop from the red to the blue on the translate property. So like that, directly I have an expression. I can now edit this one. So I want, if I go on the left for the red channel, that we go on the right for the blue. So I just multiply this by minus one, just the opposite not the invert, there's a difference between invert and opposite. So what's happened? Uh, first thing, you will just see there is a center of the gizmo, not really at the center of the picture, so don't hesitate to right click, set to default for the center, same for the second node. If I increase uh, on the red channel for the X, It like this. As you see, I have a kind of a, of chromatic aberration because the blue channel will go on the right and the red will be uh, on the left. Unfortunately, that's pretty destructive because you touch the whole picture at the same ratio. There's another trick. Don't touch the position. Touch the scale. So. Once again, I will just copy, uh, drag, uh, control, drag and drop the scale from red to the scale on blue. So I have an expression. And this time, we don't create an opposite for the expression on the blue scale. We will create the invert. The invert will be one divided by the value of the scale. So take a look. I will just increase a bit the red. Oh God. Ah, oh, wow, wow, that's too far. Don't, don't be worried. Just add a zero. And la, voila. Now, uh, your picture is uh, have a chromatic aberration, but it is small when we are in the center of the picture and very, very uh, big when we are on the side of the picture, on the border. That creates a very nice uh, chromatic aberration and that's going pretty fast. Uh, and you can do this with only two nodes. Allez, uh, a very nice and last trick. Um, the transform is is very sharp because we just play uh, with the scale, but there is no diffusion of your um, uh, of your effect. So you can create something pretty cool if you copy the same parameter but on a god way. So on the God ways, I will do the same trick. I will just have a first God ways on the red channel and a second God ways this time on the blue channel. And I will copy again the scale of the red channel like this, control, drag and drop. So, and I control the blue scale by the red scale. Oops, sorry, I just... Oh. And I just forget to do the inverse operation. So one divided by the value of the red scale and take a look on what's happened. So this effect is pretty strong, but I love because it creates very nice taping. Um, I just again mm, reinitialize the uh, center. Oh, come on, boy. 
<laughs> so, if you have an issue to uh, to initialize the center, don't hesitate to uh, to copy this one, for example. So we're going faster. Oh, yeah. So, if I change the scale, you will see now the chromatic aberration uh, have a kind of trail, and that pretty uh, that's quite a pretty nice look, especially on the border. If you see now. And I love this kind of diffusion. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty clean. And once again, uh, that that's going very, very fast. So that's all for for today about chromatic aberration with transform mask or God ways. Uh, the next time I will try to learn uh, the same trick but with the eye distort. So uh, I will explain you how to use the eye distort. See you soon. Bye bye. And don't forget, this is for the Movember. So go on my webpage and I will really appreciate a donation from yours. Bye bye.